I just designed this new tool about two days ago, and we're ready to put it to the test. I'm really excited about this. And if any of you have worked on these old diesel engines, particularly trying to remove and replace those braided hoses that go between the fuel injectors, you're gonna get a smile on your face and you're gonna say, okay, Ken, I know exactly what you're talking about. Like most tools we've developed here in my shop, this one comes out of frustration. I told my daughter, Kai, I should have done this 15 years ago. But this past week, I just got so frustrated. I said, you know, I'm gonna make a tool and we did it. So here it is. I'm gonna move the camera in close and show you how this works on this old 240D here. I'm gonna start removing these fuel injectors and I have to remove the return hoses first. If you've worked on these old diesels before, you've probably already found your own technique to get these hoses off and then back on. It's really tough to get them off without damaging them. You can't pull on them because the more you pull on them, the tighter they get on that nipple that's located right at the top of the fuel injector. If you try to use something like a pair of needle nose pliers or a regular pair of pliers, what happens is you squeeze it enough to get it off that you end up damaging the hose internally. So if you reuse it, it'll end up leaking within a few months. So what I wanted to do was come up with a tool that will allow me to grab onto the hose right down close to the nipple or even on the nipple and twist it like this. And then if I twist it and get it loose, I can just pull it off just like that. And look, see, that hose is not damaged. Now I generally recommend that you replace the hoses every time you remove them. But if they're fairly recent replacements and you use this tool here, it will prevent the damage that's so easily caused by other tools. So I can use this at different angles and get right in on these other hoses and just start pulling them off like this. And then of course, <laughs> what's really nice, <laughs> I'm sure some of you have tried to put these back on and you, you know what it's like trying to reach down in here and you reach in here like this and you shove on it, you know, and it tw twists and bends. Well, watch this. You put this right there. Oh, I'd say about three eighths of an inch so you can clear the nipple. And then you just come right down in here like this and just and then move it back and just push it on like that. Isn't that slick? It makes replacing these injector return hoses actually a pleasure. As well as the fuel injector return hose that you just saw, this tool also works extremely well on vacuum hoses, particularly those vacuum hoses that have been stuck to a nipple or a fitting for a very long time. And it's so typical on these actuators. This is a rear trunk actuator. And then you've got your gas door actuators, your door lock actuators. You ever, any of you ever tried to pull off this rubber hose? And the more you pull on it, it's just like one of those Chinese fingers. You know, it gets harder and harder. Well, watch what happens when I take this tool and I'm just going to come in here and lightly grab right around the hose where it goes over the nipple and then I'm going to twist until it breaks free and then I can loosen up a little bit of my grab come out here and it just comes right off. So you can use this for vacuum hoses in and around the engine, in and around your vacuum door lock system and let me tell you this is really handy. This is one tool that every older Mercedes owner should have in their toolbox. I'll leave a link in the show more part of the description. It'll take you right to this on my website.